Hi and welcome to this Dreamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. Um, this course is for people new to web design and new to Dreamweaver and the topics of this session is going to be how to create your first HTML page. In the previous topic we looked at defining your site which you need to do first. Now we're going to look at creating our very first HTML page. It's going to be nice and basic and we're going to preview it and then we'll work into some more advanced parts. So for the first session what we need to do is create our first Dreamweaver page. So to do it, let's all go out to File and go to New. Okay, within here we need to be on this one that says Blank Page. Okay, and we're going to be creating an HTML page. An HTML page is your very common, normal, standard web page. Okay, and you should be able to leave all the defaults. Okay. Um, if you're using an earlier version of Dreamweaver, you won't have this doc type HTML5. It's probably going to be on this one, HTML4.1 transitional, just an old style of HTML. The new version of Dreamweaver, CC and above, um, uses HTML5. But this, if you've only got this option, this will work just fine for most of what we're going to do in this course. But HTML5, if you've got it. Okay, let's hit create. What this does is it creates us this untitled document. The first thing we need to do is save it. Okay, so we go to File and go to Save. Okay, it's going to allow us to name it as this HTML file. Now, um, you've, when it comes to naming your files, there's um, one specific file, which is your home page, has to have a really specific name. It has to have the word index.html. This is the very first page that um, somebody like Google Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer is going to go looking for in your website to load first. This is always going to be the first page an audience sees when they go to your website. Okay, so it has to be named like this. If you have a website and it has a hundred other pages but no index, okay, um, something like Google Chrome or Firefox won't load any pages. So you need to have at least one page called index.html. Okay, so make sure you use a lowercase i and let's hit save. So it's named it index, it's going to be a home page and the first thing you should do whenever you create a page is give it a title. Now this title in here is very important for a couple of reasons and the main reason is for Google search engine. For your site to list well you need a very good clear title so if you leave it as the default untitled okay, it'll end up with really bad results in terms of its ranking so let's let's explore that. So for the title for this page, we're going to be doing um, a title for, um, you make this unique for your website, we're going to be calling this one Dreamweaver Tutorial Website. Okay. And we're making sure there's good clear keywords in there, okay, because this website is going to be about Dreamweaver Tutorials. So um, once you've typed in here, um, where I want you to go through and let's quickly down the bottom here, this is called your body area, this is where your website goes, we're going to type in a little bit of text, we're going to say um, creating a website is easy in Dreamweaver. Okay, so to find out what this title does is I'm going to hit save, file save, and then I'm going to go to file preview in browser. Now what this is going to do, it's going to try and preview it in one of the browsers that install on your machine. If you're using a PC, you're going to have probably something called iExplore, which is Internet Explorer. If you're on a Mac, it's probably going to have Safari. What I like to do as a web designer is install Firefox and Chrome, which is alternatives for these guys, and preview the, in these as well. Okay? If you have installed them and they're not appearing in this list, you might have to go to Edit Browser List and go and find them. I'm going to preview in this course under Google Chrome. At the moment, it's the world's most popular um, uh, browser by far. Okay, it's overridden um, Firefox and Internet Explorer. So Google Chrome. I'm going to test this one. And you'll see in this one. Okay, it's done a couple of things. It's previewed the bit of text in here, and you can see up in here in this little tab. Okay, it's given me that page title. Okay, the Dreamweaver tutorial site. Now that's um, that's one of the reasons you put a title in, it appears up here, and when people bookmark your site, if I add this, uh, bookmark this page, it's this bit of text that gets included in your bookmarks. But what it's really good for is in its Google search results. So if I go to File, New Window, OK, 
okay, and I go to Google com.au and I do a search for Dreamweaver tutorial. It's about right. Okay, the page title is this bit that appears in the blue part here. Okay, so if you left it as untitled, which is the default in Dreamweaver, you can imagine the problems you're going to have. Okay, because um, Google will never rank a page that has the words untitled document as its title. So you need to have really clear keywords. Can you see the words Dreamweaver Tutorial, Dreamweaver Tutorial are all appearing in this title here? It's what Google uses when it ranks, one of the many things it uses, okay? But a page title is really important to describe to Google what your page is about. So making sure when you put in the title in Dreamweaver, okay, you put in a title there every time you create a new page. Now make sure there's it describes your page well, and it needs to be unique for every page. So if you have 10 pages or 10,000 pages, you're going to have to have a page title unique for every single page. It can get a little bit monotonous, but make sure it just really reflects what's in the page there. Okay, so we don't have a lot of content yet, but we will start developing it in a bit. Okay, so we've done a couple of things. We've uh, created a new page and make sure it's called index.html. You've saved it and making sure there's a title Okay. and we've added a little bit of text in here. Okay. But now we're going to go through and add a bit more content in another tutorial. Alright, let's move on to the next tutorial.